started flaring the rear fenders as well as positioning and tacking on the front apron. Around with my fenders now, I started to put this one on. You can see I had cut it just a half an inch off the body here. So I made this fit nice and tight all the way around. It's got it bolted on. Now I'm trying to line up the fender with it. Got these little strips of steel here that I've got these little vice grip clamps on. I'm waiting for a few more clamps to continue moving, but I've had to adjust it a bit. It fits pretty well. I mean, it, uh, I drove it out of the garage and then drove it out here in the driveway and it didn't rub. So, uh, you can see it's quite a, uh, quite a bit of expansion there. It's about three and a half inches, a little bit over three and a half inches at its widest spot. But I've got it more narrow down here. You can see it's it's wider here. I think it's a little more narrow back down here. I give it a nice look. I think it looks good. The car is sitting a little bit low right now. Hangs over just a little bit. Tire stuck up underneath there. Actually, I'm going to probably be raising this uh, rear end about a half an inch, so it will be coming up a little bit, as well as the front. This fender's just sitting on here right now. That's why it's sitting down so low. It's sitting about a half inch low here. Then it's going to also come out, and it'll the, the car will go up a little bit too to make sure everything clears there. So far, looks pretty cool. Okay, I've been out here playing around with the sheet metal in the front. Took quite a bit to get all this to line up. But nothing has welded on, nothing has, has been welded. It has been, these fenders have been bolted on in their position. The hood comes down. And it fits nice and straight on there. It's pushed a little bit to one side, I mean just a hair. But uh, I'll be able to hopefully get all this straightened out. But anyhow, now that I have everything uh, lined up here, I'm going to get in here behind this and drill a couple of holes through this flange here. Get my little angle drill in there through the flange here and then through the flange up here on both sides and put a little number six screws in there. That'll, that'll uh, locate that panel once I take all this apart. We'll go back exactly to where it is. Okay, I've gone ahead and pulled the fenders back off. And I relocated my little holes here that I had drilled through there with these little screws. So I know this is in the right spot. I'm going to have to remove the paint here in order to weld this on. But uh, I also have to tie this these two pieces together here. And I've got a little piece of paper template that I made here that's going to go like right in here. And I'm going to spot weld that to both pieces later. And then probably clean it up with Bondo a little bit at the very end. But uh, yeah, I'm going to cut two of these. One for this side, one for that side. And that'll hold these two together. And then once I get everything clean, I can uh, start spot welding it all together. Now I've got the apron uh, all welded on. I've got it welded on with my little piece of uh, steel that I bent fit here. So that's all welded together. It's not very pretty because it's pretty nasty actually. But I'll have some Bondo in here make it look good. But it's spot welded all the way down. It's whole end, it's front end now. It's really, really uh, stiff. 